All right, it's not hot enough in the building here right now, so make some heat. So I'm gonna go ahead and blast this here. See what it looks like under all this crap. I'm gonna do this piece here and blow the air pressure down, and then I'll come after this one. Try not to blow too many holes through that. So we're gonna use our bead blaster here. So right now I got some junk in the way. Slide it over. There's the head I was working on. Before, <clears throat> after. Now you can see all the cracks in there, so lots of good cracks. They're real light right here. Oh, there's a light. Okay, so we're gonna put this up in there to be in my way. That'll be a good spot for that for now. This is the piece we're going to blast. So we're going to go ahead and hit it with some beads, which is what this stuff here is. Beads are real slimy. They roll around because they're all they're ball, glass balls, basically. Sand is a grit. It doesn't roll very well. It doesn't slide. It digs in and makes all kinds of damage. And don't drop this in that hole. It's hard to get down. All right. <clears throat> We've got the air compressor all fixed over here. Let's give it a test run. So it's going to come on here in a couple minutes. So right now I'm running unregulated air in my blaster, which is not good, but for now that's what's going to happen. Everybody's on. I've got my tripod set up here and see if you can actually see what I'm doing. I don't know. I'll make a half-ass attempt at seeing what's in there. I don't know if you can see squat. If I clean the window off a little bit, does that help? Doesn't help me much. Maybe it'll help you. See right there. You see? Yeah, you kind of see. Get that blast down here. All right. Let's see what happens. On thin metal like this, you want to lay it against a piece of something here. It doesn't buckle it too much. So try to sit it flat on a table until the pressure goes down. So right now, it's really high pressure. Pretty heavy rust. Barnacles. Don't come off easy. Surface stuff comes off easy, but that thick stuff does not.
stuff comes off quickly. Barnacles don't come off that easy. The barnacles are what makes it bad because that goes deep into the metal. The other stuff on the surface doesn't really do much damage. It just looks bad. We're already out of pressure, so it's not comfortable anymore. Time to go over the bad parts. Oh, more holes. See all the holes? Pressure so low, I didn't want to cut. Taking the dirt off. I keep it blowing through though. We only got 40 pounds of pressure right now, so not much air pressure. When it's that low, it doesn't blow through, but it doesn't want to cut either. So. Cutting the surface stuff off, and not the stuff you want to get off. together is the rust. This is where the lead is right through here. Protects the metal. Usually that means it's a dent right here. In this case it looks like it's more of a like bondo type build up now repair type stuff. Rusty. So we got a rip going through here. That's not good. This is all 
all netted together, so the left detected this surface is not too bad. So this might be halfway decent. The rest of it, junk. Coated with lead. Forty five pounds pressure right now. So. Enough to take the surface stuff off and not the heavy stuff. Coming back in again. Now this side didn't have a lot of lead on it, so let's see how bad it is. pounds, not enough to cut. Well, I guess you get an idea what we got to work with. Not much. See the Swiss cheese going over here. See the little beads does not take off the rust that's in the metal. It only takes off the light stuff on top. But you can see just the holes are everywhere. I was hoping that some of this stuff would be reusable, but obviously it's not. 
down here. You can see the Swiss cheese all around this because this is not heavily loaded through here. So this whole area here is about out too. This area right here is halfway decent right now, but as I blast all this corrosion away, it might develop more holes. This here is gone. This is all gone. The top panel looks usable because it's, this is all leather. It had a plate that went across the whole top of everything here. A doubler layer, and that re, that kept us from rusting from this side. And you can see how the metal's tearing right here, but this panel is not too bad. Now you go down in here, look at all this heavy barnacle rust down here, and that can go through. So when you start seeing that big heavy rust like that, that's the stuff that goes all the way through. So this panel here is not going to be the best either. This tank's pretty well trash, so that's basically called a hundred dollar bill that you just wasted. It's a sample piece to show how it's made. You can make a die from this, but you can't use it. It's too wasted for that. But it'll give you a size referencing, and if you're going to copy these panels, it gives you patterns to make from. You can make a pattern off what this looks like and make something from that. But using anything about this, pretty much, no. So the top panel here, maybe, but pretty much, no. So you can see they got some kind of alignment holes right here, so you can see how things are kind of made. And basically, it's trash. So I'll blast this some more, but I'm not going to get too carried away with it. I'll just knock off the heavy stuff, spray it, and it's just going to keep rusting anyway. So the metal's so porous, it's just going to keep bleeding rust out of it for years to come. Okay. Anyway, piece of junk. No good. That panel there, probably good though. So there you go.